DaVinci Resolve is a program that you can download and install for free. Once you have it installed, we need to add some content to create a video. I've created a, a folder on my projects drive that has some content that we can use to generate a video. So once I have uh, a look at all the content that I want, I can start dragging it into my media pool so that anything up here that I think I might use in my video, I can drag uh, down into the media pool. So the media pool is where we get content for our video. And notice that I drag down a, a, a folder called footage and it has all of the frames from the New York City zoom in that we can add to the project. So now that we have dragged and dropped uh, media or content into our media, folder or our media bin as DaVinci would call it, we can go to edit. And once we're in edit, we can just start dragging uh, uh, clips or uh, media content into the timeline. And so I drag uh, a still image of the logo into the timeline. I can adjust the length of it by just grabbing it here and sliding it around. I can play the video up here. So after uh, adding the logo, we might want to start with our, our Zoom video. So then we just drag our Zoom video down to the timeline. And now you can see if I scroll through this video or play it, you're going to see the zoom in. Now the nice thing about Resolve is it allows you to very easily add transitions between video clips. So if we go to video transitions over here, the interface and then we select cross dissolve all we have to do is drag this over there and drop it down and now we'll automatically dissolve between the logo and the first shot very simple now we want to start adding some more content so one of the things we can do is we can just scroll over or we can use this slider to zoom in and out on the project. So I'm going to go ahead and take one of the uh, animations we have here. Notice that I can look at it by just scrolling back and forth. And I'm just going to drag that down and put it after. Let me zoom in. And I'm just going to put it after the uh, zoom in of the Earth. And again, if we want to do a crossfade, we can just drag crossfade over to the clip and add it. Or we can just fade a clip in and out by looking at the edges here. And we just drag that. So that's a one second. We're about one second fade in and then maybe we want to fade this one out by uh, by a second so by doing that instead of a cross fade we have one fade to black and the other fade from black and we can adjust these so if I put the playhead over here so by just clicking on the top of this timeline we can select where the uh, playhead is or where it's going to play from and we can hit play and now you'll see this is going to fade out and then the other one will fade in. So we have two different types there. We have a crossfade where it goes from one to the other and one where it goes to black and then from black. And we can continue adding footage to uh, the video by just dragging and dropping stuff at the end. But I'm going to put a funding statement at the end here. And again, I'm going to just do the um, about one second uh, zoom to black or fade to black and then about a second for fading from black and we can extend this a little bit longer so maybe three seconds uh, uh, longer than the default and so now we have an actual video but we'd like to add some music to it so to add music we just drag and drop some music that we've added to our media bin and we can position it by sliding it back and forth we can have it fade in and fade out so in this case, the music is 
pretty dramatic right here, so maybe we want to slide this around until that dramatic change in the music occurs at uh, a transition point. For instance, if we slide, if we make it shorter by clicking here and dragging it this way, we could adjust it until the music kind of gets louder here. Well, let's let's go ahead and move that so it happens during this transition. And then we can also grab this right here to have the music fade in over a couple of seconds. So now we have music, video, we can go back to the start and we can play. Sorry, need to move that back to the beginning and now hit play. Now with just the addition of the music and with a little bit of planning on where those changes in the music occurs, we can make the overall video sound or the overall feel of the video much nicer. And if we scroll forward to this transition, we can see that um, there's some change in the music here, and maybe if we're lucky, it will change nicely at this point. Yeah, so that happened to work out fairly well. But sometimes you want to extend the beginning or ending frame so that you can make a clip longer or shorter in order to try to get the transition to occur at some interesting place in the music. And that's about all for right now. So you can see that at this point, we've created video, we've added music, we've added some uh, visualization stuff. And there are other tabs here or other context. Uh, there's the color context where you can go in and modify the color of an individual clip. Uh, you can also play around with the sound, sound levels, and filters and things like that. It's really good for uh, making your narration sound much better. Um, and then the other thing that you definitely want to use is the, what's called the delivery context. And once you open up the delivery context, you're given a bunch of choices. These um, are presets. If you want to send it uh, to YouTube, you just select this one. And it will set everything up in a way that it will work what, with YouTube. Um, and there's a bunch of these. So I just want to have a standard H.264 encoded video. And so uh, I just will go with the defaults here. And I do not want uh, 4K, so I'll change that to HD. And then I just add it to the render queue, tell it where I want to save it, and then say start rendering. And that's all there is to it. You can watch it being rendered. This um, program, the Vinci Resolve, uses a GPU. So if you have a high quality GPU, this stuff will render very quickly. And there are times where a video that is 10 minutes long will render in two minutes if you have a GPU.